Okay, so from the previous example, 3x minus 4 quantity squared equals 20. We solved it with square root method, doing square root on each side. Here's one of our solutions, the one where we used the positive. The other solution had a negative 2 radical 5 plus 4 over 3. And we're going to check this answer. And it's not really going to be that bad. And it's a good chance to see how your algebra with radicals is holding up. Hopefully it's still holding up well. It needs to. All right. What did I do? In place of that x, I have got this set of parentheses. I had to be big because I've got this pretty complicated fraction going on here. I've got a radical in there, it's an irrational number. So order of operations has me looking inside uh, this set of parentheses, but I know there's there's really nothing more I can do. I can I don't have like terms. I can't do any simplify. So I'm out of this set of radicals or set of parentheses and looking at the larger set of parentheses where I have a 3 times this quantity and then I'll want to subtract 4. Okay, 3 times a big fraction. Hmm, I could look at this in a couple of different ways. 3 over 1 right there times and I did that because there's a fraction. I need to multiply a number to a fraction. Make it look like a fraction. 3 over 1. And those threes cancel. I'm not distributing this 3 over to the negative 4 because I only am multiplying to this single fraction that I have in this set of parentheses. This is really a good way to look at it. 3 times that fraction. That 4 is not in that set of parentheses. I don't want to distribute there. So I have the cancel, and now I'm looking at 2 radical 5 plus 4 bringing down that minus 4. You're starting to see what, what's happening. That's an exponent of 2. That exponent of 2, just bringing it right down, equals 20. Now don't think about doing square root to both sides because we're just checking. I plug my number in, I'm going to work left side and right side separately, and I'm hoping to see a 20 show up at the bottom of the page on the left side. So still working inside the parentheses, 2 radical 5, there's a plus 4, there's a minus 4. Those are like terms, both just integers, plus 4, minus 4, no radical parts. And those added together equal 0. They're canceling each other out. 2 radical 5 plus 0. I don't even need that plus 0. But I still need to see that I'm in parentheses with exponent of 2. And right side is where I have that equals 20. That's where I'd like to end up. 2 radical 5 squared. Now, I know that the 5, the square cancels with the square root, but I don't have a square root here to cancel. That 2 does need an exponent of 2, and the second I'm not sure about any kind of shortcut, I just write it twice. And I like seeing that better. I see my 2 times 2 is 4. I see radical 5 times radical 5 is 5. And I see 4 times 5 is 20. So that's how we check that our exact answer is a proper solution. We plugged it in and we said lots of things cancel. It really didn't, it, it wasn't too bad. It, from the beginning where it was nasty, it just started getting smoother and cleaner and, and took us right there. So not so bad.